everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and if you like my vibe subscribe so today I'm going to be sharing with you the fragrances currently in my collection that I don't don't believe I would repurchase and I did the video of fragrances I would repurchase I think a month ago or something and it was more than I thought because usually I'm one, once I finish a fragrance, I'm ready to move on to the, the new new. Because there's always new fragrances coming out. So this is going to be a long video. These are a lot of fragrances. So let's just get into it. Okay, first one I'm going to talk about is Lucky You from the Lucky brand. This is a nice, casual, kind of that 90s vibe fragrance. And I purchased it for nostalgic reasons when I saw it for, oh, how much was this? This is very affordable, however much I paid for it. So I've worn it before in my life. And uh, if I finished this bottle, I wouldn't repurchase it because even though I still like it, I don't love it. And I mainly purchased it for nostalgic reasons in the first place. So this one, this is it for me. Next, this is going to surprise some of you probably, but this is Chanel Chance Au Fresh. This is the one I believe gets the most love from the Chanel, This, the Chance line of Chanel. And it's good. It's a good kind of unisex, fresh, woody, green fragrance, but to me, it reminds me of um, Aqua de Joya. Yeah, Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joya fragrance for women. And I prefer that one. So if it was between those two, that one I would repurchase, this one. And I've had this for a long time, and it's a small bottle, and look. So once this is finished, I, don't, I won't re be repurchasing it. Okay, next I'm going to talk about Prada Candy Gloss. Now this, I, I kind of messed myself up with this. I, I didn't smell it before I bought it. It was a blind buy. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I purchased a gift set with this, this small one and then a big bottle of it. So... Once I finish though, though these two, I'm not gonna want this. Because <laughs> I know me. It's a cherry, light cherry, kind of powdery fragrance. I I like it, I don't love it. And I will not be purchasing any gift sets anymore where you got all this perfume of one fragrance. Not for Shaughnessy. This is Cartier. Baser Faux. This was a blind buy and it, it disappointed me because I had a certain fragrance in my mind, the way it was going to smell in my mind. And I don't hate this fragrance, but it's not a love. But to be fair, I have not worn it out and about. I've only sprayed it and kind of smelled it. I think this would work better for me when it's cooler. So we'll see, but I don't still don't think it's going to turn into a love for me. So I don't think I would repurchase this. I, I really don't. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Let's see. This is Valentina Pink. This is a creamy, fruity fragrance. I've had this for a long time. It's a, it's one of the fragrances I'm trying to use up and I wouldn't repurchase it because when I first got it, it was a blind buy. I think I ordered from Nordstrom. It was an exclusive fragrance at that time and it wasn't a love then either. It's a like, so I wouldn't repurchase this because that's not cheap. Okay, let's see. Next is, what is this? I don't even remember the name of this, hold on. <laughs> Britney Spears Fantasy in Bloom. 
This is an EDT. This is a blind buy also. I was watching, I believe, Rhonda Larice, and she recommended this as a great springtime fragrance. This, this, no, I wouldn't repurchase this. It's nothing special to me. It's a cherry, extremely light. I have to spray this like a uh, body mist. That's how I have to spray it and wear, and still it's not that strong. It's just pleasant, but nothing special, and I would not repurchase it. Okay, this one might surprise some people because it is so loved and hyped up on YouTube right now, and that is DNG3 Lim Patrice. This is a very, I think MJ, it's MJ, Maria described this to perfection. I had never heard anyone describe it so perfectly, myself included. And she said, if you like infused water, that that is what this smells like with the, the fruit and the watermelon and all of that infused water. That is what it smells like. But it has a tart, Sometimes can smell a little sour on my skin and this did not blow me away. I did receive a compliment when I wore this. I do like the packaging and the fragrance is okay, but this is one I know it is not a love for me. It is not groundbreaking to me. It is not something so, so special that I've heard some people just, just, you know, like it's the best thing ever. And to their nose it may be, but for me, it did not do that. It is not a great performer for me. So once I finish it, it will be gone and I will not be repurchasing. Right, this one will probably not come. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped it. As a shop to, hold on, the bow came off. If you've watched my videos on this, that is Dulce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. This one, it's a milky tropical floral fragrance and sometimes I wear it and I'm like oh, enjoy, I'm really enjoying it and sometimes I'm like okay I'm kind of tired of it so this is not one I could see myself repurchasing not at all and I could see this one maybe one is being given away <laughs> so Nope, wouldn't be repurchasing Dulce Garden. Not for Shaughnessy. Let's see. Um, this one is Chloe de Roses. And look at that. That is this is not even a year old, and the bottle, the top is already rusty and crusty. Now, this one, I smelled if I got the right one. Ulta. I smelled a Chloe fragrance and I thought it was this one in Ulta and I fell in love. Then I bought this from Macy's during one of their sales and it's just a disappointment for me. I have to spray a ton. It has an old powdery fragrance to me in the beginning that I have to get past. It did not smell like it did from the bottle when I smelled it at Ulta. And I, it had down there Chloe, I think it is Chloe Low EDT, and that what was on the bottle in Ulta, and that's what I bought. But you know, they did have like that written on there with some paper. Maybe somebody put the wrong thing on the wrong bottle. I don't know. But yeah, this I will not be repurchasing. Let me see. This is by Ness Coco Woods. I do enjoy this fragrance. I do like it. But I already know, more than likely, I wouldn't repurchase it. To me, it's a very unisex, can lead masculine, cocoa, chocolate fragrance. I like to mix this with vanilla fragrances, and I, I really enjoy it. People say, oh, you smell just like cookies. I, you know, that's kind of how I would wear it. But yeah, I don't see myself repurchasing for that reason just to layer it with something else, no. Let's see. This is Versace Bright Crystal. 
Now I do like this fragrance. I never loved it. I'm gonna just be straight up. I wanted this bottle. I have been looking at this bottle forever. So I found this at a great deal on fragrance net and just bought it. But it is not a fragrance that I can see myself repurchasing. It's a, a classy, floral, kind of traditional fragrance. And now that I've experienced the bottle and after I wear it, I'll be like, okay, Shaughnessy, you're done. I would repurchase this one. Okay, this is one I did a video on recently, a comparison video, and this is La Lique's L'Amour. Love the bottle. This is a creamy, white floral fragrance that leans a little on the mature side to me. And now that I'm smelling it now, I'm liking it more because I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't really dislike really any of these, but these are just ones I know I'm not going to buy again. And I won't say ever, but I will say for a minute. Yeah, I, I don't think I would repurchase this one either. No. Let's talk about Bora Bora by Liz Claiborne. Now this I just bought on a whim because I saw it I think for 11 or $12 after listening to Amber Chantel's review. And I do like it. It's a, a, a nice like vacation, tropic vacation floral fragrance. And it smells good, but I do think after I use up this bottle, I'll probably be done. I think I will be done. Okay. This is one I enjoy, uh, Fancy Girl by Jessica Simpson. I blind bought this. It's not a love. I don't adore it. So I really don't think I would repurchase it after I finish, you know, a big bottle of it. It's a very basic, fruity, sweet fragrance. Yeah. And I do like the bottle. I like the gold and the white. Very pretty. And I do enjoy the fragrance, but I just don't see myself buying it again. This next fragrance will probably not come as a surprise to you all if you've watched my previous um, videos on this. And this is Eccentric Molecules O2. This is, this is just not something I'm gonna repurchase. I already know it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm kind of in the middle. It's a unisex fragrance and usually from, that's not me, but I don't hate it. I'm going to still play with it and, and see what happens with it, but I know I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay. This next one is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. This fragrance is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful. I wouldn't repurchase this because it does not last. Yes, it's a very pretty fragrance, but, and I also did a review on this, this fragrance also. It just does not last, and I don't have that problem usually. I spray it heavily on my skin, heavily on my clothes, and no, this is one, I don't even know if I get a full two hours where I can smell it. I don't know if other people can smell it, I don't think I received a compliment on this. I think I only wore it once because I was so disappointed in the performance. Even though it's beautiful, beautiful fragrance, but no, I, I don't think I would repurchase it unless I'm craving the, 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 the fragrance again. But based on the performance of it, no, this is just not, this wouldn't be a repurchase for me. Let's see. Um, Let's talk about these two. Okay, this is Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. I do like this fragrance. It is strong. Ooh. And you don't have to spray a ton. But I do think by the time I get finished with this big, you know, 3.4 ounce bottle, I'm not going to want it again. Because that's how I am. And let, it's, it's rare fragrances. And I don't think this is going to make it into the one where I'm going to be like, I need it again in my life. I don't think so. Because I think it's going to last for some years. 
Okay, next is another fragrance from Michael Kors. And these are my only two fragrances from Michael Kors, my first ones ever. And this one is Sexy Blossom. Now, I had not smelled this. I had not heard a lot about it. This is a blind buy. This is, I, it's, I like it, but I don't love it. So I know I wouldn't repurchase it. Yeah, it's a fruity floral fragrance. Yeah. And what drew me in was I like the name of it and I like the bottle, the, the color of it, because I'm a sucker for purple. Let's see, let's get these two. Um, this might shock some, some people also, this next one. I would not repurchase Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I don't know. I think I've had this over, no, I know I've had this over five years. It, it, I'm gonna use it up this this fall winter season and it's good but it's taking me so long to use it it's not one i gravitate towards that i really don't think i would repurchase it i might want to look at the edt version see if, if that sharp note that i don't love in this maybe it's not in that version so i this is such a classic that I'm not going to say never, ever. Like, I wouldn't say never, ever on any of them because your nose change, your mood change, you know, life changes your decision. These are the ones currently I don't think I would repurchase. But this one, I don't think I would repurchase either. But who knows? It's such a classic. And this one is Signorina Eleganza, and it reminds me, not the smell, but the vibe of it reminds me of the Coco Mademoiselle. And this is a big old three point, is it four or three? Well, 3.4 ounce bottle. So if it took me that long to get finished with Chanel, I'm seeing, you know, that's a 1.6 ounce bottle, Lord. Yeah, this one, Oh no, I got some of my lip gloss on the ribbon. Okay, you can't see it now. It's a very elegant, sharp, again, floral patchouli fragrance that I'm, it's not one I would reach for a lot, so I, I wouldn't repurchase this, no. All right, I'm saving all of those for togetherness. Next is The Key by Justin Bieber. This was a blind, what is this on the phone? This was a blind buy. It's a very floral, musky, fresh, like out of the shower fragrance. I know once I finish this, I'm not gonna get it again. I'm, I'm just not. Because it didn't catch my eye when it was released and it didn't blow my mind it's just an easy no no thinking i'm not going anywhere let me throw on some smell decent fragrance for me so i wouldn't repurchase this this one might also surprise some of you i don't think i would repurchase mosquitoes cheap and chic i love love i know two no three people i absolutely adore them and love watching their videos and that's Takara, Anna Absolute and it's MJ. They swear by this and it's not bad. It's just, it's so orange citrus heavy for me. Oh, and Amber Chantel. Yeah, she was the one who talked about it first, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I don't think I would repurchase it. I hate the packaging. And yeah, I just, it's a, it's a light. Okay, so I saved all of these fragrances for last because these are all Juicy Couture fragrances. And yeah, this is Bye Bye Blues. It's nice, it's an easy summer reach, but I know I'm not gonna repurchase it. I know I'm not. Um, the original Viva La Juicy, I finished, I want to say one or two full bottles of this and I hadn't had it for years and I bought it for nostalgic reasons. 
And I feel like after I finish with this bottle, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I feel like with Juicy Couture, I wouldn't repurchase any of them. But the sad thing is, it's three fragrances from their, their line that I'm kind of wanting to purchase. And I'm like, Shaughnessy, what is your problem? You wouldn't repurchase any of these fragrances. You haven't used them up. Why are you thinking about Juicy Couture buying some more fragrances? That's where you know you have a problem. This is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy La Fleur. It's just a light, very extremely light floral version of Viva La Juicy. And I always wanted the bottle of this because it's so cute to me. So I saw it in TJ Maxx and it was really cheap. So I bought it. And you know, I fulfilled that wish. So after I get finished with it, I wouldn't repurchase it again. This one is Viva La Juicy Rose. And I've had this, I want to say, for over five years. And looking through this light, I'm about right here on this fragrance. And if it takes me that long and it's not that much use and it's not one I reach for a lot, that means I don't need to buy it again. This is just a light, rosy, modern fragrance. And I don't love it when I wear it. It's a light. That's, that's the problem with these. These are all likes for me. And this is Viva La Juicy Soiree. This was a recommendation. I think uh, Rhonda Larice, I bought it because of her review. But if I had smelled this, I wouldn't have bought it in, in store. It's just a, like a tropical, muskier version of Viva La Juicy. And Gold Couture, I believe a lot of women bought this because of Jeremy Fragrance and I did too. Now, I do enjoy this one, but I'm thinking since I took a long break from Fancy when I used to wear it and then I smelled that body mist in the store and fell in love again, I think that's going to replace this for me. So I don't think I would repurchase it. And lastly is... Viva La Juicy Glossé. This one smells like a cold, cool, icy version of Viva La Juicy. Sweeter. And I really do like this one. This one I was on the fence about. Like, ooh, would I get it again? Would I? I don't know. But I really don't think I would. Because for one thing, I can't stand that, that bow. But then you take it off and the bottle just doesn't look pretty to me. And the fragrance I don't think is unique enough that I would be like, I miss it, I need it back in my collection. Like I said, who knows? So those are all the fragrances, and I believe this was 30 fragrances when I counted them, that are in my collection right now that as of today, and when I went through my collection, these are the ones that I wasn't going back and forth too much. I really don't think I would repurchase them. So, that's a lot. It's a lot more than the ones I had in my repurchase video. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me the fragrances you would repurchase from your collection or what you think of the ones I mentioned in this video. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video and share this video with anyone and everyone you think would be interested. I am trying my best to reach 1,000 subscribers by September and I need you all to help me get there. Please don't make me break out in this song. What's the A2 Proud to Beg song? I'm going to have to sing that for one of them. So as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.